The NMTUI utility provides a curses-based application for managing network devices and connections. We can use this utility from a terminal on the desktop and from the command prompt on the CLI interface. To start this utility on the desktop, open a terminal. Run this command. This utility does not need a GUI environment to run. It means you can also use this utility on a CLI interface. Administrators usually do not install graphic environments on servers. If you have a desktop-less server and want to manage network devices and connections in a desktop-like environment, you can use this utility. On this system, we have the GUI environment. Let's switch back to GUI. No matter, whether you use this utility with or without a GUI environment, it works similarly. On the first screen of this utility, we have three options. This option allows us to add a new connection and manage existing connections. This option allows us to activate or deactivate a connection on an interface. This option allows us to change or set the system host name. To move between the options, we can use the tab key or arrow keys. Each option has a subscreen that allows us to configure the option. To access the subscreen of the option, select the option and press enter key. The NMTUI utility also offers a command to directly access the subscreen of each option. We can access the subscreen of the first option by using this command. As we can see here, both screens have the same options to add and manage connections. From here, we can add a new connection and update existing connections. Let's close this screen and move to the second option. To access the subscreen of the second option, we will use this command. Press Enter key to access the subscreen. Again, we get the same options on both screens. Now, let's move to the third option. We will use this command to access the subscreen of the third option. No matter whether you use the first screen of the NMTUI utility or the related command to access the subscreen of an option, the settings available on the subscreen are the same. These commands are only used to bypass the first screen of the NMTUI command. From the subscreen of an option, we can manage all option related settings. Let's create a new connection and activate it on the Ethernet interface. To add a new connection, select the first option and press the Enter key. On this screen, the left side displays all existing interfaces and their connections. The right side displays options to manage the selected connection. To manage an existing connection, first, we need to select it from the left side. To add a new connection, we will use the Add option. Here, we need to select the network interface for which we are creating this connection. This list includes many types of network interfaces. You can create a connection for any type of network interface. But you can use that connection only if that interface exists on the system. For example, if you select Ethernet here, you can use this connection only if the system has an Ethernet card. This system has one Ethernet card. You can create multiple connections for a single Ethernet card but can use only one connection at a time. Let's create a new Ethernet connection. The next screen allows us to customize the connection. This is the name of this connection. This is the device type. If you want to update the device type, you can do it from here. To assign an IP address manually, set IP4 configuration to manual. Now, Configure the IP4 address to 10.0.0.10. .0 .0 .10. 
set default gateway to 10.0.0.1. If you keep this option selected, the network device will automatically use this connection to connect to the available network. This option is useful when your system has a wireless LAN card and you use the system in different locations. You can create multiple connections. You can create one connection for each location. On each connection, you can keep this option selected. If this option is selected on multiple connections, the wireless LAN card automatically selects the appropriate connection to connect to the network. In the lab environment, we don't need it. Uncheck this option. This option allows all users to use this connection. Keep it selected. After updating all settings, select OK, and press Enter key. The NMT UI utility creates a new connection with specified settings and adds it to the list of connections. By default, it does not activate the new Ethernet connection. To use this connection, we have to manually activate it. We can activate it from the first screen of the utility. Select back and press Enter key. On the first screen, select the second option and hit the Enter key. Select the recently added connection and activate it. Wait for a few seconds. The utility activates the connection. It shows a star before the active connection. As we can see here, now this connection is active. Let's move back to the first screen. So far, we have added a new connection and have made the new connection active. Now, let's change the host name. To change the host name, we will use this option. Update the host name. Confirm the change and move back to the first screen. To close this utility, use the quit option. To verify the new connection, we can use the nmcli connection show command. This command lists all connections in their current state. As we can see here, this interface is now using the connection that we added recently. We can also use the active option to see only the active connections. To verify the IP configuration, we can use the IP address show command. As we can see here, the connection is using the configured IP address. Finally, to verify the host name, we can use the host name command. Here is the updated host name. The default command prompt also includes the host name. It will update when we will restart the terminal. As you can see here, the host name has been updated. Now, delete the connection that we added recently. For this, open the NMT UI utility again, select Edit a connection, and press Enter key. Select the connection you want to delete from the left side and move to the Delete option. Press Enter key to delete the selected connection. Confirm the delete operation. Quit from the NMT UI utility. To verify the delete operation, we can use the NMCLI connection show command again. As we can see here, the connection has been deleted. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned how to use the NMT UI command to add and manage connections. If you have any suggestions, comments, or feedback about this video, please share them in the comment box given below.